today's video is going to be my opinion on a movie I saw recently on Netflix where I thought to myself, no, no, that ending didn't make any fucking sense. Sausage Party. So, if you don't know what Sausage Party is, it was made by Seth Rogen, Jonah Hill's in it. There's a lot of different people in this movie. But Sausage Party is about these food in the grocery store who think that whatever happens to them when um, the humans or the gods, this is what they call people, the gods come get them, they're going to the great beyond, whatever happens, it's going to be amazing. The opening of the movie, they're singing this song about how the gods, the humans, are so amazing and they're taking them to the great beyond and it's gonna be so great and blah 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 this is my first problem there's a scene in the movie where the store grocery store manager is going around with a trash can and grabbing up all the expired food I feel like if these um hot dogs and these buns and this can of hummus and all this other shit if all y'all are so fucking smart okay and y'all clearly see that one of your homies is being thrown away because he was on the shelf too long. Then what the fuck are y'all thinking that people do with you? So, the movie progresses into the bun and the hot dog packages get picked together because of Red, White, and Blue Day. Which I gather is the 4th of July. So, um, they get picked together and then this jar of honey mustard who's been returned comes back and is freaking the fuck out and telling people how, you know, the great beyond is bullshit, it ain't real, and he just happens to land in the cart with the bun and the hot dog who are so excited to go to the great unknown because they think something wonderful happens when the humans come and get them. So... He's rambling on about, no, the Great Beyond is bullshit. They eat us. They do this. They do that. They do this. And then he kills himself. Yes, a jar of honey mustard killed himself in a movie by jumping over the edge of a cart. It was real dramatic, y'all. And then, like, the jelly fell out the cart and her glass bust and peanut butter was, like, having conniptions about it, y'all. Like, but anyway, <clears throat> these are the things that made me go, huh? So there's a part in the movie when Hot Dog is like, you know, I need to go on this journey. And Bun is all like, but no, why? Uh-uh. Like, no, I just want to go back and be in some plastic and it'll be fine. Like, no. <sighs> oh my God, bitch. If you're out of the plastic, clearly it's not going to be fine. All right? So the, the sausage is all like, hey, you know... I've been told that there's this place that you go that's beyond the, the liquor and all this other shit and you'll get your answers. And she don't want to go because she want to believe that there's a great beyond and all this other crap. So then, when the other part of the movie, the sausage had friends. You know, he had a lot of people that liked him and things like that. We shoot back to him in the house with the woman that bought them. And this is where they're about to learn their true fate. Like, this is when shit is about to get popping. This woman picks up a, a potato. The potato so excited. Then she starts to, you know, peel the potato as you do with potatoes. The fruit and the vegetables and the hot dogs and all this shit. They are losing their minds. They screaming and hollering. Carrots are trying to roll away. They screaming and hollering. Like, it's some drama y'all the one hot dog douche in the movie he gets like sliced in half and then the little crooked sausage played by Jonah Hill you know Jonah Hill's voice in something animated it's just wonderful him and Bobby Moynihan like I'm excited to see Bobby Moynihan and DuckTales the reboot but that's beside the point so anywho this little sausage has to figure out how to get back to the grocery store so then he goes on a journey he finds some random guy he attaches to him they go into the house and then he learns from the other foods and shit that oh yeah this is what happened they eat us and then there's I thought there was funny when there's a scene with a toilet paper roll and he goes you don't want to know what he does to me and then you see the chips goes, what did he do? And he's like, you don't want to fucking know. <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> that was hilarious. Like, the movie is funny, and it's really logical. But then I started to get aggravated when we get back to the grocery store, and he meets, like, the big wigs of the food. The non-perishables. Everybody knows what non-perishables are. Those are the food that'll never expire, ever. No matter how long you keep it, it just won't expire. Yeah, okay? It's a non-perishable. Can't perish it. And one of the non-perishables is a Twinkie. But Twinkies are fucking gross. If you like Twinkies, get off my page. Twinkies are disgusting. Twinkies are demon food! 
Oh, and we have the villain in the movie, which is a douche. No, like an actual douche. Like, and he figures out that if you eat people, you get stronger. He's like real fucked up, okay? He went from, oh my god, my nozzle is bent, and it's the sausage in the bun's fault, to, yeah, bro, I'm gonna fucking kill you, bro. Like, it's... It's really extreme. So, they smoking weed. He getting to know the non-perishables. And the non-perishables tell him how they're the ones who made up the song. Because they didn't want people to know what really happens to them. When they get to the great beyond. That people actually eat us to get energy and shit like that. <sighs> okay. This is my problem. At the beginning of the movie, we see old food being thrown away. I feel like if the sausage had any logic, when he's hearing from the non-perishables that the gods eat us because they need energy, wouldn't that lead you to believe then, oh, so when they don't eat us, the guy comes around with the trash can and pulls us off the shelf because we've been on there too long. But no, y'all, no. This movie couldn't just go to a logical fucking place with it. No, 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 no. Now, the sausage has to find a way to warn everybody else, but he knows people aren't going to believe him, so he needs proof. So then the non-perishables are like, hey, there's this thing, and I don't so-and-so, you're going to check it out, it's going to fuck you up. It's a cookbook, y'all. So he go, he see the cookbook, he's seeing all his homies getting cooked and shit, so he rips some pages out, and he go before the store open, he telling them everything, and of course... Like most things that happen like this, the other food don't believe him. You got the lockers going off, you got the pickles bitching, you got the corn conflicted, you got the apples being assholes. It's a lot. Okay? And he's like, but no, y'all. And he's showing them pictures and shit, and they still don't want to believe. So then, you wondering what happened to the crooked little sausage thing in the movie. So the crooked little sausage thing killed their human. Okay? He said... This is what happened. So, there's a scene in the movie when the little sausage is seen by the human. And the human can see them all talking and shit. It's because he was tripping balls. I think it was bath salts. Yeah, he was tripping on bath salts and he could actually see the fourth dimension where your objects actually have feelings and they're talking to you. And so the little sausage is explaining to Seth Rogen's character, hey, if we just kill them all, it'll be fine. This is where it got real fucking stupid. How the fuck is a hot dog going to kill people? So then... When they see the humans coming in and they taking food, this is another thing I got a problem with. I just thought of in grocery stores they have sample sections. So you mean to tell me this food didn't look at the food getting chopped up in the sample section and think to themselves, "Oh damn, that could be me." Like there's so many holes. But anyway, this is Tyler who overanalyzes movies. So. They all get together and they just devise a plan where they're going to start fucking humans up. So they flick in toothpicks. And the toothpicks are landing in various places of these people's bodies. Now, depending on where a toothpick or something sharp will stick you, you know, you, you might, your brain will do some crazy things. You'll react in a weird way. This woman gets hit with a toothpick and she goes, the fucking food's alive. And she starts to lose her mind. And then other humans start to lose their mind because they realize the food is alive. So then the food decides that they're going to fight back. So the food fighting the humans, the humans fighting the food. This is what I don't get. How the fuck is food fucking humans up? How is food getting people locked in freezers and shit? Really? You gonna let a bag of chips beat your ass? Really? 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 You know what else I thought was really fucking stupid? Um, you could just leave and go to another grocery store where the food don't trip the fuck out and they actually know that the great beyond isn't real. And so they just get eaten. So after they defeat the gods, which are the humans, people run, some people got killed. They're like, oh my god, let's throw a party. So then they throw a party and then they all start fucking at the end. So yay, we defeated the humans. Let's all start fucking. Oh, and then the douche. He, like, shoves himself up the store manager's ass and he wields a gun. Like, it's crazy. But, yeah, after they defeat the people, they all have a sex party and they're all fucking, like, I've never thought I'd see the day when a hot dog is getting fucked by a taco. But, all right. There's a first for everything in our lives, I guess. I didn't think I needed the visuals of a hot dog sliding into a hot dog bun in a very sexually aggressive manner. But all right, you know, I'm I'm cool with change. But so we're thinking, okay, this is the end of the movie. The credits going to roll. It's going to be dope. 
So then the non-perishables are all like, oh yes, I found out more information of the gods. Sausage, we're actually not real at all. So I was thinking when he goes, we're not real, he's gonna be like, we're food, we're sustenance for the humans. So that's why they eat us, not to hurt us, but because they need to live, because if they don't eat us, we become spoiled and we have to get thrown away. No! But then again, I shouldn't expect something logical to come out of a movie where Salma Hayek is a taco and she has a crush on a fucking hot dog bun. But all right, um, I hate it because now they, now the, the non-perishable leader says, we're going to go to their dimension and give them a piece of our mind. You're a fucking hot dog. Seth Rogen is going to pick you up and eat you. Like, what the fuck? Why couldn't it have ended on a note where the... Food ends up feeling stupid because, yeah, you killed all your humans, but now you're just in a grocery store and you're going to spoil and you're going to die. And usually the bread go first. Like, that, I would have loved if it would have took a morbid turn. We go from fucking to old shit. We about to spoil and die. But no, it went even dumber. That was my problem with Sausage Party. It, it was packed with great jokes. You know, some of them, but it had good jokes in it. The story plot and the thing was great, but then it like got really fucking stupid when now we're gonna kill the humans, and then we're gonna go tell the humans that voice us that we have feelings. Like, it was so, oh my god. Why? Why? Why couldn't they have just figured out, oh shit, they need to eat us or we'll spoil and die? The, the, the fucking clue was right there at the beginning of the movie! But... So yeah. I like Sausage Party, but I'm going to give it a B minus because that ending could have been way better. Like, I thought it was funny when they said, uh, El Seth Rogen, or your voice by, oh, poof, a Jonah Hill, you know, it was funny. It was great, but then it just got really stupid and I just, <sighs> that ending could have been way better. It could have said something like a week or like two weeks later and then you just see food like dragging itself across the grocery store floor because they spoiling and they dying and shit. Because the grocery store gets shut down because people don't want to shop there no more after they heard what happened to other people. Ooh, that would have been an amazing ending. But anyway, that's my feelings on Sausage Party. I know I'm late, but they just added it to Netflix and I watched it really stone. And much like Angry Birds, the shit just went left. Like it just, ugh. it was good, but then like, come on. Come on. Come on. But yeah, that was my review on the movie Sausage Party. I know that's the most random thing to review on Wednesday. On Wednesdays, I usually review things, and I thought, hey, let me tell you about Sausage Party. But also, I want to say happy International Women's Day. Disabled women, trans women, women of color, black women, all my women's in-betweens. I love you guys. I appreciate you guys. You all work so hard to make this world a very much better place. So, happy International Women's Day. Happy International Women's Day, Mommy, since I know you watch all my videos. Hey, girl, you at work on your grind and shit. I see you. Like that Fifth Harmony song that I hate so much. You don't gotta go like, 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 like. God, that song is so stupid. But anyway, I hope you guys had a fantastic Wednesday. I hope you're getting over the hump. And I will see you guys on Face Mask Friday. And if no one's told you that you're awesome and that they love you, I think you're awesome. And I love you. <gasps> Peace.